I'm hoping that was the worst of it. But I'm telling you, Scott, that place was not something they built just yesterday. Gambit seemed to think something even bigger was coming. Well, maybe he's right. But that serum should have been destroyed. We have to get to the bottom of this. Attacks on mutants are increasing all over the world after the rally attack was broadcast. Quicksilver will have told Magneto by now, which means we're one step closer to a full-on human-mutant war. What was the kid thinking? Gambit can be persuasive. Please tell me this is over now. The Brotherhood stance is seductive. When you're scared or angry, it's a consolation just to hit out. But please, remember that not everything is that simple. It's good that you managed to get everyone out. But it isn't over. It's just beginning. It's possible we may have a few trust issues here. I don't think this is about trust. I think it's about strategy. Giving Remy the serum may have consequences we can't foresee. Yeah, you're gonna be facing an army of superpowered purifiers. Purifiers who defied the very core of their own creed. For the satisfaction of wiping mutants out with their own poison. That's probably a good idea to arm yourselves. <laughs> but what do I care? It's your choice. Well, Gambit seems to have figured out ahead of time that a war was coming. Don't even try to guess the motives of someone as skilled at deception as Gambit is. If he says he won't work with purifiers, then I'll have to take him on his word. But time will tell. If you don't use every weapon you can lay your hands on, these U-men and turncoat purifiers will destroy you. And does that prospect bother you? I'm just trying to stop a massacre. That's all. Serge and I found a schematic of the lab. Blueprints for some of the heavy equipment. Interesting. And so is this date stamp. November 7th, 2212. Hmm. Guess it's just a mistake. Possibly. Where is Magneto through all of this? I mean, after that bridge dropped, he disappeared. Magneto doesn't disappear. He's watching. I know he has his brotherhood systematically sweeping the streets for the purifiers. There's some logic in that. I mean, that's what the purifiers were trying to do to us. I mean, to you. To mutants. I understand your anger, but Magneto is fanning the flames. Open warfare between humans and mutants is what we're trying to avoid. Those you men could be all over the city. We should be aiming to take them out. Agreed. The first priority is to make sure there are no more power synthesizing labs like this one. Forge hacked into the MRD's Tello satellite. There's some suspect power usage running beneath the ground and into the fissure. I'd like to scout out the location without showing our hand. You have no connection to the X-Men and you won't show up on any of their databases. I'll go check it out. I hope you realize that the peacekeeping route hasn't worked out so well. Believe me, I've seen the alternative, and it's a whole lot worse. I better get out there. Wish me luck. I do. We all do. Something's gotta give. I mean, I've got to make a choice instead of just... just reacting to all this stuff. Son, I look at what you've become and I weep for you. The way you bought into the Brotherhood's agenda. Is there no human left in you at all? Who are you? Wait, wait, wait. I'm on your side. That's so. I'm not with them. There's nothing left of my son. Something around here is using huge amounts of energy. I'm here to check it out. Weird power signature, huh? I was just following a scent. Guy attacked back at the rally. Just by talking to you, I'm betraying everything that ever meant anything to me. Spitting on my father's memory. Yeah, God's got a weird sense of humor, don't he? But anyone ever tried to tell me how to live my life, I just had the three answers for him. Three answers? Yeah, they're sharp, they're shiny. And they make a deep impression. Quite a security setup to protect some boxes. Ain't it, though? Makes you wonder. I saw you at the rally. 
What? <laughs> no, that I was... Yeah. Yeah, I was there. You're facing a tough road, bub. Look, kid, I'm no babysitter. Tag along if you like, but it's at your own risk. I said I'm gonna check this place out, I'm gonna do it. Son, the X-Men have fed you lies. They're warping your thoughts the way muties do. You have to show them who you really are. Shh! <laughs> Hang on a second. You hear that? I hear it now. Yeah, there's something about that sound. Wow, it's... it's really getting cold. Yeah, guess we know why they need all those generators. Like, how could they do all this with no one noticing? Now there's a question. Okay, let's move This is one of the more fun challenges in the game. We have to kill more of the purifiers than Wolverine. Now the easiest way to do this is to spawn camp, of course. Just wait right where they spawn and kill them as soon as they appear. The only problem with this is that it's not all weak enemies. There is at least one purifier cleanser in the group. And we could have Logan take him out for us, but we don't roll that way. We solve our own problems. They come in through this hallway that we were just in. I'm not sure how they got there so quickly, but they did. The easiest way to kill a lot of them at once is with that new combo we learned last video. Or the video before last. It doesn't matter. The final combo, that one. It also has a function you might not expect. The combo reaches really far, almost as far as our Aether Blade M power, which means we can kind of use it as a projectile. This is especially useful for enemies we don't want to get near, like, say, Purifier Cleansers. If we use our M powers, such as Aether Blade, it will knock back the Purifier Cleanser briefly, but it doesn't lift him up in the air like it would the normal enemies. Unless I'm mistaken, I do believe this is the final time we actually see a Purifier Cleanser. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> well, I bet this is embarrassing for you. Alright, kid. Not bad. I'll give you that. Join us, Reyes. Good day to you, Logan. Sentinel technology, did you say? I am alarmed to hear that. Then maybe it's time you inspected the troops, bub. They've been shipping hundreds of these suits. I vet every MRD officer personally. There is no question of MRD involvement. Perhaps you are involved yourself. What? Your lack of control is legendary. Everyone knows that you have had lapses. Lapses? Are you out of your mind? You are an animal in human form. Isn't that right? Isn't that why you took that name? No! You accuse me. You useless! Wolverine! Don't! Wolverine, we are all friends here. No! No! You're not my friend. What is it? What are you doing? Don't know. Head's ringing. Something... something here's not right. Tell Summers what we found. I gotta get out of here before I... Wolverine! Wolverine picked the worst possible time to go nuts, didn't he? I mean, Reyes was just talking about that. So, we got the Toad Utility Power. Which is the best utility power, not even joking. It allows us to move faster. It allows us to regain our M power faster. And it even hurts enemies if we run into them while we're using it. 
Also, it has the most hilarious animation possible. Before we go any further, we're going to want to grab this health. This isn't quite where the difficulty spikes at, but it's pretty close. This is where things get hard, at least. Something kind of remarkable is that the difficulty spike does not exist in easy and normal mode. It's just not there. The entire game is equally difficult, no matter what. I just... I just want to know who made the decision to label the difficulty select the way they did. Because that probably played a huge factor in why this game is not well liked. Anyway, you might have seen I re-equipped the Juggernaut ability. Or equipped it for the first time because I forgot to last video. It causes our enders to deal way more damage and sometimes stun enemies, and our ground pound now stuns enemies as well, which is way more useful than knocking them in the air. So we've got a bit of stuff to think about right now. There's Sentinel Tech in here, and Sentinel Tech belongs to the MRD. Like, I don't know if they have a patent on it or anything, but that's where it comes from. It's theirs. But Reyes did seem surprised that there was Sentinel Tech in here. I mean, he does talk a lot about peacekeeping, so it would be very weird if he was, you know, manufacturing Sentinels. That being said, he did try to deflect the blame incredibly quickly. And he made it about his personality versus Wolverine's personality, which is a really smart move, honestly. If you're in a political position. He said he personally vets every single MRD officer. Which makes him sound, you know, makes him sound noble. Makes it sound like he really cares about his job. And then to contrast that, he was all, Wolverine's a psycho, you can't trust Wolverine, he's just nuts. And Wolverine picked, really, the worst possible time to go crazy. But I'm sure that's just coincidence. I'm sure. I mean, there's not really another option, as much as I'm making fun of it. It has to be a coincidence, because there's no way that Reyes could have caused Wolverine to freak out like that. And if Reyes did cause it, Wolverine would probably know, right? I generally like when action games and platformers do that, when they pan over a challenging area and show you this is what you have to get through. I think that's fun when they do that. But it doesn't really work here because there's nothing remarkable about this place. You do a lot more platforming here than you do anywhere else in the game, I suppose that's true. Protection measures in place. We have to navigate a maze of half-finished battle suits. And we could just run through, but we could also smack them so that way they don't get a chance to shoot at us to begin with. They don't take that many hits, really. Their lasers do deal a lot of damage, though, so we should try to avoid just running in front of them like idiots. For some reason, these purifiers have a really hard time attacking me. They just stand really far away and get hit by my shadow blades over and over. You might not have noticed, but there was an electricity field stopping us from climbing this tower any further, which is why we needed to bust up that control panel. 
But now we can proceed. But now there's a... Uh, there's more half-finished mech suits shooting at us. And they really hurt. I actually find it pretty difficult to time this properly. Which is unfortunate. Because as you're seeing, ow. Ow, that's a lot of damage. Shock and drain, fellas. In case you're starting to feel like this game never introduces new enemy types, I assure you that's not the case. And when we do eventually hit that difficulty spike, you'll see what I mean. So, for some reason, Scott seemed to think there was a chance that Gambit would work with the purifiers. Now, I think that seems unlikely. But if Scott thinks that's the case, then there's probably a reason for that. This is only gonna hurt you a lot, Mutie. I can't really think of something that Gambit could gain from working with the purifiers, but I also couldn't find anything for the purifiers to gain from the human, and I turned out to be wrong about that too. We don't see Wolverine a whole lot in this game, but when we do see him, I think his dialogue is pretty good. He seemed to have a pretty accommodating personality in spite of us uh, appearing to be a purifier at first. Honestly, he didn't seem like the kind of person who would just flip out and go nuts from when we talked to him. I mean, we didn't talk to him very long, but he seemed like a pretty intelligent guy. And I feel like it would have been mentioned at this point by the X-Men, hey, if you run into Logan, watch out, he has these episodes where he just goes completely crazy. He said it was actually something about this place we're in, in particular. But if this place generates some sort of weird aura, it hasn't affected us any. I pretty much always get hit by the by the battle suits in this corridor, but that's okay because there's a health pickup like right next to them, right over here. I would like to mention real quick that back in the other facility I said that we encountered the only thing that could be considered a platforming challenge. That was incorrect, I forgot about something that we won't see for a long time. So I wanted to show you that we can't break this control panel until we kill the stalker, but then the stalker absolutely murdered me. So yeah. Believe it or not, this little fight with the purifier stalker on a small platform is a glimpse into the difficulty spike we'll be experiencing later. This fight can be kind of difficult, simply because you don't have much room to move. And you don't want to get hit by those guys throwing cocktails. But of course, finding time to take them out can be difficult when you have a stalker that can destroy you in three seconds with its bullets. Staying away from the stalker is good to draw its fire, but not if you're going to stand still for more than a couple seconds. After you're in the middle of the Stalker's bullet stream, you're pretty much just screwed. But the Stalker crouches before he starts firing, so it's not like he doesn't telegraph it. You have time to move. Just less time if you're also preoccupied with fighting other enemies.
Rooms have upgraded since we last met. Trust me, it's what the Master Race will be wearing this season. Well, if it isn't our little traitor again, this will be a pleasure. You know, it's funny. I'm looking at you now and I'm thinking, my father could have been a good man if it wasn't for the poison you poured into his ear. <laughs> Once we synthesize Megan Gwyn's power, our alliances will have to be renegotiated. The purifiers will conquer and rule alone. Pixie, well, I'm not going to let that happen. This fight with Hodge is almost identical to the last one. Almost, but not quite. He has a new attack where he can teleport across the room and then fire a laser down at us, but that's it. He's also gained the ability to summon minions to attack us, but I'm not sure if that counts as a new attack. Either way, the fight is still incredibly easy, because you know his pattern. However, I think it's a great opportunity to show off how useful the Toad Utility Gene is. After Hodge gets done walking around in a small circle and getting smacked repeatedly, we'll get to see that new laser attack I talked about. We can easily outrun it with the Toad Gene we just got. As long as we're moving, it won't hit us. We can also, of course, dodge out of the way, but running around it is much better because we can also get to Hodge faster that way. Also, you finally get to see me hurt enemies with the Toad Gene. We run into them and it poisons them and slowly deals damage. It also deals pretty good damage by itself, though. The initial impact does, I mean. A slight, uh, technical hitch. That's what comes of relying on mutant powers. Looks like you got some wiring crossed. In the circumstances, child, I believe I have no option but to surrender. I'm your prisoner. My prisoner? Exactly. You've beaten me, my mutant friend. An X-Man has to be generous in victory. You do want to be an X-Man, don't you? Or are you feeling the pull of the dark side? It's your choice, of course. Where's Pixie? What have you done to her? Oh, that's a whole lot of misplaced sentiment, boy. You're thinking of mutants as people. That's a slippery slope. Well, I promise I won't make the same mistake with you, Hodge. Atrian, think of what you're doing! Remember who you were! Thank you. I think the auto repair system has done its work by now. You're fighting your own kind. Enough, enough, Dad. A divided humanity will fall. Can't you see that? You're human, Adrian. Act like it. I was something for you to use and twist around. <laughs> Uh-oh. Someone has issues. You're my son, Adrian. Above anything else. Sons must obey their fathers. Shut the hell up, Dad! I'm pretty relieved to see you. It took a long time to find you. Emma couldn't pick up your trace from Zen Wolverine. There's something wrong with you. I can't explain it. My God. This place. We must tell Scott. We go, yes? Yeah. I hear you, but... What is it that you want to do?
But with everything that's happened, maybe Mystique is right. Mystique? I hope you know what you're doing, my neighbor Kent.